Welcome back to the Writer's Life, the place where you get the sights, sounds, smells, tastes, whatever you want from my particular Writer's Life, where you get the truth about publishing and all those things that go with it. Uh, if you haven't, smash the subscribe button, uh, hit the like button, and hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss one mega exciting video. I just woke up in front of an app, so... I woke up this morning at like 4.30 and like, no, like at 3.30 and uh, naturally check in like Bitcoin and all this crap and like, oh my God, it's driving me insane, but it's doing really well. So I can't complain. can't complain. I got a little coffee here. But because I woke up at 3.30, see, this is all part of the writer's life. Because I woke up at 3.30... Um, I didn't fall back to sleep till like five and I slept till like 745, which is like way late for me, way late. I, I usually like to have, you know, considerable writing in by 745, but, and of course it occurs on a day where I'm on the radio with, uh, um, Fran Lewis's radio show out of New York. Um, but that's a segue I want to make because, uh, I had a great show. Um, I shared this, shared the podium with um, Frank Safiro. He's another down and out author, um, among other publishers, I guess. And he also is like me; he's a hybrid author. He has his own business as well, his own publishing business. Um, Frank's a great guy, um, former cop, so he knows what he's talking about when it comes to crime writing. Um, unlike me, um, well, I do have research people, but. Uh, it was a great show. Um, I'm going to link it in the description for you um, so that you get a chance to, to listen to it. Um, we went over some really interesting topics from uh, everything from marketing these days to um, to what's our best advice to young writers just getting into the business. And it's funny, I'm going to keep this short because I'm going to leave you the the, the radio program and you can listen to that but um it's funny because like I, i'm always stumped when like an interviewer will ask me like well what's your advice you know to new writers or young writers or that whatever or both and for me it's always like read 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 but mine is a little bit more nuanced in that um read whatever you love to read you know like whatever turns you on you know and watch the same type of thing, you know, like for me, it's crime stuff and hard boiled stuff and, uh, old noir, um, mystery, hard boiled mystery, all that sort of stuff. Love it. Um, and so then, you know, and when you start to write, you got to put in the words, you got to put in a lot of words before you get really good and before you can really trust your voice. But the more time you spend that, the better you're going to get. Right. Um, you know, um, and learn to have fun with what you're writing. If you're not having fun, you're not gonna, it's probably gonna suck. Um, maybe at first you wanna do some writing workshops and you wanna get critiqued and you wanna show your writing to other people who are gonna give you some advice. That lasts for a few years until you start publishing and start publishing well. Um, try your hand at traditional publishing first, just to kinda, you need to go through that period of uh, rejection and acceptance and stuff like that before you decide to go indie. Um, but once you are able to trust your voice, once once you have your voice down, once, once you have your writing down, um, my advice at that point, this could take 10 years. My advice, my advice though, once you reach that point is uh, don't show your work to anybody else ever again other than your editor. Trust your voice, get it out there. You know, that's, 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 that's your unique voice on the page. All right, I'm going to let it go now because uh, I'll link to the radio show in the description. I hope you check it out. It's pretty cool. And uh, I'll catch you guys tomorrow. Ciao, ciao.